Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome back to another Vats and Madness that I want to participate in tonight. <laughs> We're supposed to be out of here, but I saw that. I said, hey, why not? Let's have some fun. We had some fun last night. Let's have some fun. Yo, Kim. Loading up in a minute at Get A12. Zato Fly. Andy Ivy. Oh, yeah. So I think, you know, we should. We should definitely catch them later on. So the rod should take us right into Minneapolis Center's airspace. From here. We're just going to bypass Chicago. So, yeah. Well, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Man, I already filed my plan. My plan is filed already. So, let's go ahead and get started. Here we are. Here we are. So doing five, five is good. All right, cool. Do that on you. Love those hydraulic sound. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this with one to twenty for now because I know there's no way to see here, not even ground. So which means I'm gonna get out of here pretty quick, guys. Okay, put that there. Turbulent, auto, 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 system two. All right, so, okay. Come down here. That's it on. We're going to leave it at 2000. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, get things started. Request of flight. There it is. Everything is there. Of course, the next fight. Damn it. We're going against the wind, so I might have to change that cost index, make it a little bit higher, like 30. Okay. And. Oh. Yeah, we got to start our rest here. Okay, cool. All right, let's go ahead and fire up the APU. All right, Iris align. 
All right, we'll wait for that. And then we're going to come over here. Let's see. Seven minutes. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and take care of that. So I'm going to do a 22 left departure. 22 left. It's right over here behind me. And the SIDS is going to be the MIGI 2. The MIGI 2. There it is. All right. And uh, transition. It's going to be slap. Like, like slap you. <laughs> Insert that. Okay. And then into camera speed. They're doing 12. 12 left approach because I already checked the ADIS and then see what they're doing. 12 left. I watched a uh, uh, Pat flew in it earlier today. 12 left. And I think they're still doing 12 left. So 12 left. If they change it, we'll change it. All right. Uh, star is going to be the muscle three. All right, Novia, and this transition is going to be IDM. There it is. And so that, everything is good. Everything is good. And then uh, go back to here. Let's look at our, we need a little bit of extra time. 72, we're going to go with uh, A2. So A2. Cool. So now let's go to yeah, I'm, I'm going to quick align it in a minute here. Alright, so we come over here. Go to wave balance A2. All right, let's go to performance. 22 left. All right, let's see what um, it's like giving us. KDTW. All right, 209. All right, <clears throat> minus one. Okay, and that will be fine. It's dry. Task will be off. Flex standard config. It's gonna be that, and then compute. Okay. So we got uh, flex 67. This is our everything. It looks good to me. So we're gonna come to performance, go to uplink, data request. Yo, yo, big up, big up, uh, green light. This is logged off. Are you serious? Oh, wow. Hold up, man. Why would they do that? I mean, it, everybody's going there. So they still have, I think, it's not even time for them to log off yet. So tower is on ground and delivery. So right now they still have 40 departure and 35 arrivals. All right, well, I'm gonna hurry up and get the hell out of here. Okay, I'll insert that. All right, use our uh, thing, I think. Sexy seven.
all right this is all good five minutes we're gonna we're gonna expedite that go to the tallest menu go to joystick quicker line here we go all right everything is aligned we're not playing around So we got 38,000 feet. All right, cool. FD on both sides, so we're good. All right, so come down here. All right, on um, the ground spoiler. Close that. Back up, so everything's good. Have the beacon on, and then okay, let's call for pushback. Uh, we gotta delete that. All right, come down here. There you go. All right, Kenny Canada, check your throttle in your on 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 start mode. Why are you telling me to do that? Oh, thanks. Why am I throttle? Oh, come on. Okay, Hold on. Oh, really? You're supposed to default to this thing, man. What the hell is wrong with you? Huh? Thanks for checking on that, bro. All right. Uh, this is all good. Let's calibrate this thing. Super things. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know why, you know, it's like I already chose it and then move. Might as well do this. All right, ignore, ignore. You to my right, nice, thanks. No, because you know what? Yeah, I would have. Yeah, I would have find out when I do. I always do my flight control check. I would have find out when I did that. You see? Now it's right. Can it sew it? Welcome aboard, can it? Are you talking about this right here? No, my throttle, my throttle is, is where it's supposed to be. It's on the idle. And then I have my ignition to start. Okay, copy. He's off, door lights out, bypass pin is in. Parking brake is set, walk around the suite. Shoot that, Zato. Oh, 
Can I remove the chocks? Alright, music gotta go. What time? I think four o'clock, uh, good night, four o'clock. That doesn't look like a max. <laughs> oh man, you just think, uh, this, is, this will be a Southwest uh, CSL. We need to get a max CSL in there. That's what we need to do. I can't wait to see that screenshot, man. Off is what I have on. All right, this thing, yep, froze it. All right. Now that you're done doing what you're doing, I left here on. Detroit traffic, uh, Delta 617 will be taxing via Kilo Yankee and Yankee for uh, two to left departure at the Yankee 10. Detroit traffic.
You didn't hear my transmission? What? Oh, crap. 122.8. Why didn't he hear it? Uh, let me stop. Hold on a second. Hang on a second. Okay, I am uh, transmitting. My volume is up. Okay, and connected. I don't know why you're not hearing it. I will try it again. It's weird because one to two point eight. My volume is way up. This is it. So I don't know. Let's try it again. Detroit traffic uh, Delta six one seven uh, radio check. Okay, so Zato, I think it's you. <laughs> All right. Let's go. That's um, Andy right here. And I think that's green light. Yep. He's probably flying to Max again. Just want to tease a brother. It's all good, man. Yes, 12 left. Yes, sir.
All right, let's hold short right here. Okay. Detroit traffic, uh, Delta 617. We line up on two to left for departure of Detroit. Direct traffic, uh, Delta 617, departing two to left. Uh, Reclaiming just said uh, Detroit traffic. Delta 617, lining up right away two to left. Got a little frame hit here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.
All right, that's enough. Give it to the little pilot. Oh, that's 15,000 feet. I had, I had enough fun. It's fun hand flying this plane. Uh, thanks, ARG335. Thanks, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. All right, let's take a look at and see how everybody else is doing. Okay, um, yeah, you know, that is so weak of them they to, to log off, man. Still got 29 arrivals and there's um, no ATC, wow. So I see me, I see uh, Zato, so uh, Andy and um, Greenlight and Cam still on the ground.
So I think I'm going to turn to one, two, one, two, three, four, five, just in case somebody do decide to act silly. Boom, boom, room on the check-in. What's up, fella? So right now it's just you and I, I see. to see you man good to see you I think that's Cam. Yep, Cam is coming. And then that would be uh right after Cam will be um Greg and after Greg will be Andy.
still 29 arrivals into uh, Minneapolis. Oh, it's a good thing Chicago Center is still on. Hey, Cam. Cam is on the boom, boom, room. Yes, you know. Now nah, I wish I had flown out of Chicago. Oh, this, is, this is good, actually. More relaxing to get out and not have to worry about holes and stuff on the ground. True that, true that. That is true. Let's hope everybody coming into Minneapolis uh, are doing 12 left because that's what they were doing. Oh, I thought the winds were out of the west. Uh, I thought they were doing 3-0. Either they are landing either 12 left or 12 right. Yeah, that's a current date is Cam. Yeah, the wind says that, but they're doing 12 left or 12 right. Okay, good to know. I'll, uh, I'll set up for that. Um, thanks, guys. We should be getting that ping from Chicago Center any time soon, I hope, unless we're going north of their airspace. I think we're getting we're going a little north of the air, so we'll kind of barely touch the airspace. Uh, yeah, we'll be barely in their airspace, but we'll be to be a flight level. Nice. Greg Hill, you're in the boom boom room yet? Good to see you flying, bruh. You bet. So we have we have our own little conga line to uh, Minneapolis. Rock. We had a whole gang here. 
Yeah, but see, Rock, you know, you and Rock be going at it, man. <laughs> hey, I just drop facts, that's all. <laughs> hey, the funny thing is, I started off and then you take it over and I just back off. <laughs> oh. Yeah, man, I'll come out the bullpen on it. <laughs> yeah, you're you're a hell of a relief pitcher. I tell you that much. <laughs> you'd be th you'd be throwing curveball on rock. You know he's gonna be striking out. <laughs> Can't hit it at all. <laughs> See, right now I'm just passing, barely touching Chicago airspace. Are you guys doing uh, Muscle 3 into Minneapolis? Yes, sir. Is that you, Andy? No. Oh, that's Greg. You're doing muscle three, right, Greg? Yes, sir. That won't be to be fair. Welcome to the boom boom, Andy. Well, thank you, thank you. I would have been off the ground a little bit sooner, but I got a phone call. We're just missing a green, uh, green light in the boom boom room.
That would be a very good question for uh, V1 on one of the streams as to uh, at what point do you actually have to force the, uh, the pitot heat on in the cockpit? Yeah, I'll have to remember that. He might do a stream tomorrow. It's Sunday is usually the thing. What's up, fellas? What's up? Well, well, the king of the boom boom room is here. Well, you know, when you wanted one of the owners, you know what I'm saying? Your presence should be acknowledged. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to your house, green light. Well, you know, I appreciate being in my house sometimes. I ain't got to break my credit card out sometimes, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but you know what andy when uh yesterday when i um i had my anti ice you know engine and wing anti ice set up you know on um before departure so i didn't you know def definitely didn't want to take a chance yeah i actually uh in in microsoft to my to my Opinion, it didn't look like there was any visible moisture or anything. And I turned, you know, at like a, a thousand, fifteen hundred feet, I turned uh, engine and wing anti ice off, and the ECAM immediately lit up severe ice. And yeah. So I had to turn it all back on. Yeah, it's, you know, my thing is in the XM12, it's, man, it's a big no no if you don't have that because that plane would drop like a brick. We'll drop like a brick in X Men 12. You don't have an anti ice on. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that Microsoft is getting that sophisticated with it yet, but at least it's freaking out the instruments. That's step one. Hey Cam, I don't know if you noticed. You know, Tolis have the. Um, you know the de-ice in you know, a portion of it but it doesn't simulate it you can just click it and it says 30 minutes i'm sure you can decrease them uh, the time but i wish they simulated with the truck de-icing the, the plane yeah i haven't uh, played around with that feature yet i've been in europe too much uh flying island stuff so uh gotta do some winter off here well that'd be a great opportunity to go into some deep canada that'd definitely give you some good uh winter operation that's true well yesterday was perfect you know out of uh winnipeg and into chicago So let's see. Oh, 
Well, I did a flight from uh, San Jose, Costa Rica to San Salvador, 81 degrees. Very nice flight. <laughs> I have to say, Clam, you've been doing a lot of nice flight lately. You know, thanks for dropping those pics in uh, Discord. Yeah, this one though, uh, I thought I had bought a Aerosoft scenery for San Salvador. I was telling the boys earlier, and it turned out that I had bought a uh, scenery for Salvador in Brazil. So when I landed in uh, San Salvador, I'm like, this scenery is crap. This looks worse than default. And uh, little lonely was default. Oh, man, that's, that's up. That was a good flight. Did the RNAV runway 7, which circles you all around uh, the bay and gets you in. It was a good flight. Well, at least it wasn't an apartment buildings, uh, Cam. Central America. Oh, no, actually, the, uh, the default airports in X-Plane are, uh, are pretty nice. I mean, they don't look shabby at all. But I guess uh, Sim up to 12 is coming, Andy, right? And they're gonna uh, enhance New Zealand, I heard. Yeah, that's right. They're focusing on the New Zealand, uh, which I mean, I don't know. Uh, maybe the, maybe some of the more of the airports need a little TLC, but the the, the um, ortho down there is amazing. Yeah, I enjoyed uh, that tour of New Zealand. That was fantastic. I think I haven't been in the U.S. for almost two months now. This is my first flight in a very long time. Well, it came. I was telling um, Greenlight, the only reason I'll come back to the state right now is for an event. And, I, you know, I, tonight, you know I was supposed to be in uh, in Ireland. But when I saw this event, I didn't know it was going to close this early. Well, nobody uh, burns the uh, candle like you do, HD. Well, it, they're in Central Time, man. They should they still should be open. From uh, Melbourne down to Hobart Island again. Yeah, I still have to do a lot of uh, Australia flights. I have uh, a lot of ortho for that area, and I uh, wasn't able to join you guys when you did the flights, but I got to do that, and then I got to do South America. I like to do Brazil. Man, I'd love that approach to Santo Dumont, the one that's on the short airport on the water. Man, I'd love that approach coming around the mountain and, uh, and Rio de Janeiro. Oh. I got tired. I'm becoming addicted to uh, challenging approaches. Oh, yeah, you know, we we, we come in there. We're going to Brazil, uh, Greenlight. So once we do Ireland, then we'll, we're going to go to Africa. Because I got to go some nice airports and some nice airports in Africa. And then from there, we're going to go to uh, Brazil. You still owe me uh, uh, Paro, HD. We got to do Paro. No, we're going we're gonna to do Paro, man. We will do Paro. That's, that's not a question. That will be done. We're going to put in the schedule. We will do Paro. Yeah, we gotta do Paro, we gotta do uh, Samos, and we have to do uh, Ejaculo on, in uh, Corsica. Those are great approaches, you will love them. Well, what about the approach at two Cafe and two on the one that's on the mountain where you got one way in and one way out? <laughs> yeah, I, I tried uh, uh, Paro three times, finally I got it right. So it was always outbound from Kathmandu. I haven't done an inbound to Kathmandu yet. I tried Paro two times. Now I don't stream though, but you know when you when you're recording, you you can you know do a little thing, do a cleanup. But man, I tell you that approach is something else. Yeah, you got to be on your uh, right altitude at all times. You end up high one little bit and then the go around is like another flight in its own yeah you really don't want to do a go around over there but yeah you're right you got to set the right attitude once you disconnect 
and I mean, I love the hint flying into, you know, that approach. I think 15, is that the one that you go over at Mr. Smith's uh, house? Yeah, 15, I think, is the most common uh, approach that you can go over. But 15 is the most difficult to compare to 31 or 33. Yeah, yeah, 15 is the one where you turn left and right and then the airport comes into view like last second. Who the hell is Mr. Smith? <laughs> Agent Smith. Miss, Mr. Smith, I guess he's uh, somebody in the real real world i guess the pilot calls it it's a little house that you come over and they said that's mr smith's house it's like um um what would you call it it's like a target point uh cam yeah yeah sort of i mean you gotta hug those uh, mountains pretty close to the left and to the right to get in you just gotta be right to those mountains i mean that's you know, they disconnect the uh, the jib with because that thing will be going off the whole time. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I bet. Yeah, definitely. But that approach, man, if you have the scenery and you, you actually have Mr. Smith's house, you know, it's pretty cool. It's very, very challenging, okay, because you got to make in the last minute uh, a, a left just to align yourself with the runway. Very satisfying though when you uh, get it right. I only tried out a push in the, in the Airbus A319. Uh, I need to do it in the in the Zebo to see the difference. But you know what? I think uh, he did a good job. I think when he was vectoring me, you guys was concerned I was too high, but I think he knew what he was doing though. Yeah, I thought, I thought you were toast, but he, he did your right. So I was always at the key, so I listened to the boy. I didn't know what Hey, Greg, I think uh, you're kind of creeping up on me. I Zato is right, right there, right behind me. I think I'm doing 386. He's doing 383. I'm doing 398, uh, but winds are 260 at 79. The hell? Let me see. What's your flight level, Cam? Wow, because I'm at uh, 38,000. Uh, when is 270 and 69? I'm at 
1079. Yeah, we got the same Zato, you and I. Yeah, that's wow, good. Minus, uh, uh, three, zero. Zero. Uh, just Let's see what the, the weather is like in, in uh, Minneapolis. So it's 2.30 at 3. Clear, minus 4. 29.78. Twelve left for me. That's what the current world ladies is doing. We'll see what if they, if that change. I'm looking at it right now. It's uh, arrival is going to be uh, 12 left and 12 right and 17. And, uh, what's the timestamp on that? Uh... Mm. It's 3:53 Zulu, so I'm going to run it again. Remember one thing, Andy, Indianapolis, even though, depending, if you see the wind event, if it's favors 3-0, they might do, that operation might be 12, you know, the 12 and the 17. All I can say, guys, is that when I was uh, watching the stream all the way up to before I started, 
They had <clears throat> they had everybody coming in uh, 12 left. Yeah, right now there's a southwest landing, 30 left in real world. So I think we need to do three zeros. That's what I plan for. Remember, you have to do the weather, not when you leave, it's when you arrive, as to how you determine your runways. Okay, I just rerun it again here. Let me see what they say. So I'll do ILS 30, right? I got 30 left. Right to that. Yeah, I'm doing 30. Okay, they just changed it to visual uh, three, three zero left. Cam, which one are you doing, uh, left or right? Uh, I'm gonna do three zero right because that's close to my gate. Yeah, let me take a look at this. Let's see what I'm gonna do. He's flying them. Vision Trooper 7, hello, hello. Your x men 12 still look like shit. How so, man? You're spawning, what's going on? Nope, it's for both x men 11 and x men 12 uh, spawning. AVS for both. Yeah, um, Aviation Triple Seven, man. I don't know what's your what's your specs. There's a lot of things that we gotta talk about. Uh, like for me, I have uh, I used to run an RTX 2060 Super. I just um, experimenting, change it and swap it for uh, 1080 Ti, which is 11 gig. And I had to change my setting, and I'm gonna show you. All my sitting on the GPU side are pretty much max. Hey, Steve, be sure to use the uh, turtle transition uh, or the turtle via for the approach to 3 0 right. That'll get you nicely lined up with the uh, ILS. 
Okay, hold on, hold on. All right, uh, you say turn the transition? Uh, yep. The, uh, on the star, it's the idiom uh, transition. But then uh, the via should be turtle. All tango, right. Romeo, tango. All right. All right, let me, let me change that. Yeah, but guys, I, I gotta know, I gotta know you guys' uh, uh, specs, man, and what you're doing. So I'm gonna show you this in a minute. Let me go ahead and uh, prepare myself here for uh, descent. All right, let's go ahead and do the meter again by 2:30, and just give me a second here. All right, so it's going to be 29.78 for altimeter. Okay, temperature is going to be minus four. The wind is 2.30 at three. And minimum is going to be 200. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, so we did it fast enough. Um, mine is a uh, twelve sixty uh, thirty seventy Ti. Dude, you have enough. Okay, it definitely on your setting, bro. All right, so my quickly show you what my setting is and i and my system is not as high as yours see when my 1080 ti everything on this side is max this is of course the resolution 1080 everything and with my 1080 it kind of forced me to do that because that's how i use the maximum power in 1080 on the gpu cpu side where you know my system is weaker shadow aircraft only medium 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 the only thing is maximum is my cloud that's it and and on this plane right now with obs running with everything else running right without obs none of this stuff i'm in the high 30s in this plane but with obs and all this stuff right now it runs around you know 25 frame 26 you know i mean depending where i'm looking okay and same thing in the zebo so it all depends on what plane you're flying for me So, you know, my x 12 don't look horrible at all. <laughs> don't. All right, guys, I'm going to switch to 122.8 2 because I'm going to tap this in coming up for me. No, see you. Um, over here. Yeah, see. I, I, listen, first of all, 
this still need to fix the entire listen, right? That still need to be fixed. But you see where I have mine, you don't see that it's bad, okay? But try that setting. I mean, you you know, the card you have is not pretty, it's not that bad. Yeah, specs play a huge factor, man, a huge factor. Right now, my weakest point is my CPU, which I'm working on to get that upgraded. And in the 1080 Ti, I will eventually pull that out, you know, go with something a lot better. And don't put it, yeah, you know, again, is, is on your GPU side, is it the same as mine? All right, hold on a second here. Not yet, not yet. I'm trying to stay away from night. Now, once I change my GPU, that's a different story. Let's go back inside. All right, let's see here what we got. What we got? Um, fantastic. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Air traffic, Delta 617, fake hitting flight level 380. Delta 617, fake hitting flight level 380. Come straight on. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do what we gotta do here. That's fine. Auto brakes are gonna be two to the short runway. Man, Chicago Center is still on. See, let's see what the approach is going to be. Let's go over here, go to every tab. All right, so this is where well, we're going to be landing 3 0 right, short runway. So, hopefully, exit here at Golf. 
Hopefully we don't pass this golf for Charlie. All right, let's see here. Don't pay attention to that. See, that really doesn't match what the, the thing is. So, all right, so 8,000, let's see here. Let's go here, back away, three zero right. You see how it jumped to 31, 28? Okay, so 110, 301. 1107, we need to change that 301. Cool, so that is done. Decision that is really 250. Okay, cool. So 3000, that's where we catch it. That will be it. All right. So the decision is 250. All right, cool. All Let's come with, oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Learning performance. All right, three zero right. Uh, let's make sure we got the right one in here. Yep, 233 minus four. That's correct. The dry anti ice. No, it won't be on when we once we below the cloud. Um, break medium. Reverse are on. Okay. So if you approach 133, okay. All right, So I see myself, Zato, Cam, Greg Hill, and Greenlight and Andy. Greenlight must have passed Andy. Yo, James Johnson, what's up, man? Good to see you. It's been a minute, man, since uh, I've seen you. But good to see you and a happy new year. love how this thing sound it's 
so it's gonna go to 280 in between there good stuff so this is going to be still 29.78 Where I've been, bro. I've been here, man. I've been streaming. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I've been streaming, uh, streaming abroad, man. Just, you know, venture out, explore other airports. You know, we've been in uh, Asia, a little bit of Africa, Australia, New Zealand. And then, you know, we come to the States, you know, for events and stuff. But, you know, this guy logged off kind of early tonight, but it's all good. But uh, after this, we're going to Ireland and we'll be there for the week and then from there we're going to go back to Africa and from Africa we're going to come down to um, South America specifically the Brazil area and then there's a couple of stuff that I have to do like Paro and you know, a whole bunch of other stuff man there's a lot more to explore out there than the states that's for sure Carbon Stick is another guy. You know, I see him. Uh, let me see. Dre stream. I see you in XP stream. But that's, I know I stream kind of funny time, man. But it's good to see you. You watch the replay? Nice. Well, I hope I can duplicate that in this plane. Uh, the A321 seems to be better for me these days than the A319. No, we'll see. Call mistake. We'll see. We shall see. It's definitely good to see you, man. Wow, look at these clouds, man. You better have your entire eyes on. Otherwise, you're in trouble. All right, it's going to be 29.78. Come say, yeah, good to see you too, AG. What did you think about the recent blue experience video about x-men 12 <laughs> oh my god listen when i saw the title i'm like whoa 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 i you know because i keep in contact with those guys okay so i had to call xp man i'm like first i watched it first i said let me watch it to see why because the the title that's definitely going to get your attention so you're going to have to watch it but but once I watch it, I understand what they mean. Um, you got the whiskey sour and ice. Well, hold on a second, guys. Hold on.
Sorry about that, guys. Had a, a call that I had to take. Okay, so we are descending. Everything is set up. I was, you know, uh, multi. Okay, CPU. If you're gonna act up, act up now, and release everything because I don't know if you're trying to load what are you doing, but please. I don't want no problems. Okay, just, just. Thank you. All right, time for the music to go. Bye bye. Call mistake. I'll, I'll comment on what, on your uh, on what you're talking about in a minute. Just give me a minute. I'll comment on that. But um, listen, if developers want to abandon XP and move away, that's on them. Okay. I really, you know, if that's what they want to do, then you do that. Now, as far as vertical sim is concerned. He's a friend of mine, and uh, you know he will update those plane, those those airports he have for X Men 12. But you know it's a business; you got to do things that's going to make you money. You know what I'm saying? So I understand that. But they they'll come back. I'm not worried about it. And then as far as what they were saying, yes, I was disappointed just like they were because when Lamanar released X Men 12 as a full release. That was not a full release. It should have just kept on beta like the way it was. From that standpoint, I agree with them. And then don't promise something that you can't deliver. When you promise people, well, we'll have, uh, um, you know, we'll have uh, the McDo thing. You know, don't do that. If you're not going to have it, don't promise it. So that, that was, you know, that's my problem with it. All right, we need to do open descent here. Open descent. We're not going to do that, all right? So, so from that perspective, yeah. But you have to remember, I started with X-Men 12 since the beginning with, you know, with the beta and stuff like that. I see the progress and the improvement, okay? Tolus, Fly Factor, they're doing everything they can to keep their plane up to date, okay? Um, now... Does this thing still have a lot of issues? Yes, but they're making progress. They clean things up. Remember, it took Microsoft two years to get to where they are. The only thing Laminar did wrong is say that this thing was a full release wasn't really it was not. Okay, and promise a, a, a customer do when you don't have a release. Those are the things that they did wrong. But as far as the sim is concerned, you have to remember when you have a lot of issues, you have to clean them up before. You turn the performance. Somebody like me to have a middle of the world PC, I would love the performance string to be done. But unfortunately, no, that's not going to happen. Okay? So, you know, for me, I can't, you know, those are the things I can complain about. So I understand when, when they talk about when they, what, they, what they were talking about. I do. So, yeah. No, I didn't know that, uh, James. Yeah, well, that's what they were talking about. The release was disappointing to everybody. You know I'm a big X-Men guy. You know, I give him a straight F for that. <laughs> they got an F for me on that one. Plain and simple. No, no. No, 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 uh, no way to look at that. That's just a plan F. All right, let me concentrate on this approach. We, I see we're doing a parallel approach, huh? Minneapolis traffic, uh, Dallas, uh, Dallas, Delta 617, 11 uh, out for uh, 30 right, Minneapolis. All right, let's uh, arm the localizer. Here, we're on the look. Okay, let's go ahead and drop the gear. All 
right on that. All right, glide is coming down. This thing catch a glide? Oh, here it is. Minneapolis traffic, Delta 617, 6.5 mile out, 30 right, Minneapolis. ICPU, cooperate, bro, cooperate. So we got uh, 19, not cross screen coming to the right nose. No, it doesn't work anymore, James. need is this come on come back down we want a smooth arrival just come back down bro come back down one thousand check come on come back down no, don't go to skip the deck. Thank you. <clears throat> Look at the city over there. Ooh, I'm satisfied. 
Yes, sir. This was nice. This was nice. Thanks, Green Light. Call me to say awesome landing. Thank you, thank you. It was minus 140 something. Minneapolis traffic, Delta 617, clear of active, and we'll be uh, uh, parking to the gate, Minneapolis. Thanks, Greg. Oh, here's, here's uh, Zat over there coming in. And yeah, we're going for this gate right here. That's Zato, this land. I think I sent a line it too. Yes, yeah, wet in the ground because it was snowing earlier here. All right. Yeah, this is the first scene we, yes. Um, I would kind of say I agree with that uh, call mistake because once you, once you get control of the Boeing, you should be all right. Okay, let's see here. You just have to become proficient in uh, with the Boeing and then you're, you're all right. Okay. Engine one is out. Hey, <laughs> James said. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. And just mind you, that was with a little bit of, you know, frame hit too. But you have to be, you know, you have to be mindful of that. Otherwise, I would have disconnected a lot further out. All right, Chief G, toggle the jetway. Yeah, this is the default scenery, man. Here we are. Minneapolis traffic, Delta 1100 is eight miles out for runway 308. All right, so we're going to catch, uh, we're going to catch um, Cam. It's coming this way. Let's put on some music. Uh, let's see here. Go to yeah.
Yep, they do. That's definitely one of their strengths. And it does real well. It's no snow textures too. People don't they don't they don't get enough credit for that. The way they lay the snow is the the, the right way. It's more natural versus what I see, you know, in the other sim where everything is just a texture. Like we just had a stone blizzard or something like that. Nope, that's the only leg, man. That's the only leg, uh, James. Oh, I think I think they will. I think they will. Somebody will, you know, because now most of the airport have Sims, though. It's Cam coming in. And just mind you, um, of course I love BeastJet, man. Are you kidding me? The Challenger 650, I got my special liver for that. And, you know, the Phenom 300, the Citation X. The G550, I have all those planes and I five more. I'm one of the very few simmers that you will see me flying these beast jet a lot, man. Yeah, yeah, I love my beast jet, man. I love my beast jet. Come on, Kim, bring it in. And don't remember, I have this is Sam Haven. I have that does all the auto gen for me. And Cam has the same thing. So when you're looking at it, this is why I said, you know, if I have this, you know, I, I'm good. I'm good. Because that's all the auto gen I need. Uh, come on, Cam. Come on. Come on. Don't let it float. There you go. Know. There you go. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Kim8021. Now, um, Greg here, are you doing 30, 30 right or 30 left? Let me know. Thirty left. All right. Minneapolis traffic delta eleven hundred vacating runway three zero right. How far are you, Greg? Thank you, Greg. How far are you, Greg? Fourteen out. Okay, cool. It's 14 miles out. I'm gonna wait to do so. I gotta do some uh, screenshot. Minneapolis traffic, Delta 711, fully established on a localizer. 30 left. We're at 10 mile line. We're 30 left. 
Okay. There he is right there. He looks high, but he's really not high. So we got Greg here. Next, we're gonna have green light. And last and not least will be, oh, that's somebody coming from uh, Denver, no, from Memphis. It's gonna go behind you guys to land. It's a Delta. So you got you, you got green light, you got Andy and this guy, Delta 211. It's gonna circle back behind you guys. There you go. You guys doing three zero left? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Greg here. Bring it in, Greg. Sir. Minneapolis traffic, seven, Sun Country 1877. Nice. Is riding the glide, runaway three zero left. Minneapolis. He has you as a wine, man. You're a Delta. Jesus. Is it a wine? Guys are wine. Wow, crazy! Nice job, Greg. All right, who's next? find a way to catch both of you guys in a second yeah
All right, call me sick. Take it easy, man. We'll talk. All right, here's green light, and here's Andy. That is so cool. Is is a runway right here? Don't go too far. When you zoom in, it seems like he's off, but he's not. There it is. There it is. This is what I wanted to see. Approach on the stream, green light to the left, Andy to the right. I appreciate that. We coming. Atlas <laughs> traffic, Spring Wing 538, short final 30 right. Bring that max down. Bring that max down. There it is. Center line for the win. Good job. All right, now let me come go to the other side. Crabbing it is crabbing on you. Nice. Good job, man. Good job, everybody. Good job. Is Cam? Is me? Is Zato? And he is, oh, let me back up and take a picture of this. Minneapolis Spirit, Wings, Lone 30, it's clear back to the top of eight. All right. This is great, good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Ah, the baby. Nice flight, guys. There's one more guy coming in from Denver. I don't know if he's doing 30 right or 30 left. He was behind you guys. He should be in short final. Did he say three zero left? That's the one that I'm talking about. Did he say three zero left? Let's catch him. All right, so let's go ahead and do our replay because I got to turn in and then uh, I know we got to look at some of this stuff. So let's go ahead and uh,
I've been sitting here for a minute. One hundred. Oh yeah. Uh, hold up. CPU got to come down. <laughs> hold up, hold up. This is one of the best landing I've done in A319. Look at this. This looks like the professional guys. Center line in the zone. Check it out. <laughs> hold the nose, hold the nose. Let's look at that again. Oh my goodness. That's better than the butter, man. Oh. You can't beat that, man. You can't beat that. Let's slow motion it. Oh, guys. Are you kidding me? Best landing in this plane so far in X-Men 12. Look at this, guys. Basically drag the wheel center line. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Zato. Man, best landing so far in X-Men 12. You know, rudder control was right spot on. All right, let's do some wing view. Let's do some wing view, man. Wow. That, that itself was worth the whole streaming trip. Now, we just got to get our CPU right. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna look at him, Zato. Definitely gonna look at him. Wow. Yep, my best landing. It even beat that butter that I had in the Zebo in out of New York.
I know, Andy. I know what you mean, bro. It's just that as beautiful that you flying in Microsoft, you know, all this beautiful scenery and stuff like that, and then you go in the airport, it's like, what? Yeah, so hopefully fly beam will put it out. See a rainbow here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the swing shots. Okay, let's do that. Discord. Zato fly. Alright guys, here we go. Zato, holy smoke. Is that a max? <laughs> there he is. Yep, that has to be me right there. Wow, look at that. That looks good. Oh yeah, that max up good in this that living room, man. So Zato had to be fine next to eleven. That thing looks real good. Nice stuff, Zato. Alright, here's the approach. X-Men 12? Oh, we gotta talk. How did you get this to work in X-Men 12? Oh no, Zato. Come on, explain yourself, man. How did you get it to work for X-Men 12? Did you do the ACF file? You're not flying that guy that, that had it, you know. Do you get a whole bunch of uh, stuff that pop on your screen when you bring it up? Talk to me, bro. Oh, damn. Look at that. Oh, hell to the no, man. You know I got to fly that, bro. I think I know which one it is. 
Yeah, yeah, send me the guys Google. That might be the same one I have. What does it say about the Swim 12 2002, Greg? Is that what they say? I think that's what they said. Oh man, I think I might have to trip. right here look at those other trees oh uh, look at that real 3 3d trees real 3d trees look at that because I didn't I didn't trust it when I saw him fly it uh, he is Kim oh it just dropped something all right another beautiful flight is oh nice look at this We float about the same amount of time. Nice, Clem. Good stuff. Okay, I'll play with it. All right, guys. Appreciate appreciate that, uh, Zato, for the picks. So, okay. Let's see. Zato Fly, KM8321, Greg Hill, Greenlight Auto Broker, Andy Ivy, James Johnson, Spawning, Call Mystic, That's back in the background. We appreciate you all. I'm gonna do a few more replay and we'll be done. Best landing, best landing, no doubt. All right, let's do one more this way. a rainbow right here I knew I saw that before oh come on don't stop playing stop. yeah that's a rainbow
So do I do VATS events? I do VATS events if that's what you mean. Yeah, that was one tonight, but just got here too late. All right, here we go. Well, guys, listen, we'll see you in the next one. All right. I'm signing out. Peace.